Hi. This week I'm talking about something that I'm very, very passionate about, as many of you will know, and that's employee well-being, the last point on the future of redesigned campus. And by employee well-being, I mean not only the physical well-being, but also the mental well-being of every employee in the organisation. And for leaders, it can be an increased or is an increased challenge to you know, notice changes in behaviours and demeanours when part of the workforce is working remotely. And I'll talk more about that later in the week. So there has to be an increased focus and an intentional focus on employee mental well-being. And I said yesterday that employers, organisations need to start connecting what they say with what they do. So many organisations have dipped the finger in this pond, if you like, and come up with an app that says, thank you, I'm grateful for what you've done for me today. Uh, a sweatband that tells people when they're stressed. Yeah, a wristwatch, a wristband, I should say, that has two buttons, happy and sad. Um, invested in yoga lessons on a Monday and mindfulness on a Friday. The list goes on. In their, on their own, they're just like vapour. Together, yes, because they're point solutions. Not everybody likes yoga. And so they're point solutions. We need a platform for mental health in the workplace. And that platform needs to be holistic, i.e. address the needs of everyone in the organisation. Yoga might not help me reduce my stress levels. Mindfulness might. Going to the gym might. Some coaching and mentoring might. There's lots of options that employers can provide, but they need to provide them all so that everybody has access to the resources that they need, that meet their needs. So it needs to be holistic. It also needs to be contextual. I need to be able to pull on resources that help me given a situation I currently find myself in. So, for example, let's say I have a complex problem to solve. I've got a really tight deadline and I'm getting nowhere. I'm getting stressed, I'm fatigued and I'm probably going to burn out. As an industry colleague, Paula Davis said, and I love quoting this, you cannot yoga your way out of burnout, period. Yoga is probably not going to help me solve this problem. What I need is access to resources such as problem solving, um, self-belief, uh, self-efficacy um, and collaboration. They're the tools I need access to and the resources and the support to get me through this situation. Holistic and contextual. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.